will a massive power outage that plunges much of the Yukon into darkness, security cameras rendered useless, while staff are resetting alarms in the Canada Games Centre, a $50,000 piece of art mysteriously goes missing. Coincidence? Or a version of the Yukon's very own Thomas Crown affair? Here's some reaction from the artist, Shane Wilson. My wife, Miranda, I guess, heard uh, the news on CBC this morning and gave me a shout, woke me up. I was, uh, I guess, shocked, to say the very least. Uh, Terrible sense of loss. Um, The piece uh, took three years. It was kind of my legacy, I guess, left it behind in the Yukon uh, as a donation for all Yukoners, dedicated to Ruth McCullough uh, for her phenomenal contributions to the arts in Yukon. Um, but you know, strangely, I was a little conflicted. I mean, I, I was struck by a sense of loss and shock, but also a, a strange, curious sense of wonder that someone or a group of people would have stolen a work of mine in such an intentional, planned way. Uh, I guess they've touched nothing else in the building. They came after that, and that's what they wanted. So in a way, it's like a backhanded compliment. I guess they they say in the art world that you know you've made it when someone steals your work. It, it, it's it's flabbergasting to to believe that someone would actually steal it. It's so big. Where will they put it? You know, I mean, obviously someone had some idea where they were going to put it or what they were going to do with it. And that remains the question: Where are they going to put it? What are they doing with it? That was artist Shane Wilson. His moose antler carving, Yukon Seasons, was stolen Friday night from the Canada Game Centre. It was the only piece of artwork stolen in what appears to be a targeted art heist. We'll continue to follow this story. It's 10 minutes now to 8 o'clock on a new day.